Hey, dear Wizard of the Coast, I have a bunch of things that I would recommend you doing, and I made a list, I did my homework on this one because it was important enough for me. Now you have new management, and this is to the new management because the old management is not going to listen to this anyway because they're so ingrained in the way they've operated in the past. Uh, you need new developers for Magic Next. You cannot go with, you do not, do not take your Magic Online developers and move them to Magic Next. There is a reason that in 15 years or 10 years, whatever it was for Magic Online, it still looks the way it does. It still has bugs that they knew were problems years and years ago and they never fixed it because either they're too lazy or they... I really don't like the argument that they cannot fix it because it's too complicated. Um, that's from a developer standpoint, that's not really an argument you can make because there's many... Um, there's other... There's, if you put the time in it and you have the skill, you can fix pretty much any bug because there's way more complicated bugs on iOS than Magic Online. Uh, so please, please, please do not bring your Magic Online team and say, hey, you're in charge of Magic Digital Next because they will ruin it. I'm almost certain that's true. Uh, from the developer standpoint, if they've been working on Magic Online and this is the quality that they are accustomed to and this is the quality they have delivered time and time again, you do not want them to work on your flagship digital eSport program. Number two, get rid of the Mythics. The Mythics just don't make sense to me. The Expeditions, yeah, it's cool, but they should be more common. Uh, the Mythics were probably the worst decision I've ever seen made because it just made the game way more expensive. And now, Mythics were supposed to be kind of cool, legendary cards. That was what was pitched to the player base when they first came out. Some really cool, you know, legend, that we'll see play sometimes. But Mythics now are just, they're the playables. They, they are the Avacins, they are the, you know, they are the Nissas, the Gideons, the Jaces, uh, Prodigies, like the Lilies. The Mythics are so playable to half people's decks, Dragonlord, Jamoka, Ojite, like half people's decks are just Mythics. That's not by mistake. You know, that's almost my mistake that for the green-white deck, you need four Nissas and you need four Gideons and you need four Avacins. And that's your base. That's just your base, right? You have, that's 12 cards out of 75. So get rid of Mythics. That's going to really help the game. Um, pay judges. I know whatever legal jargon and whatever, like, pay judges or at least respect them enough so they don't sue you. So I looked at the case, so the case was extremely interesting because a judge sues you and that judge was one that was a regional judge um, that hosted events, that organized events, so probably one of your most hardcore promoters of this game. And they banned him and as well as his friends because they talked about a spoiled card that I honestly don't think when that season comes out, you don't know what's fake or real unless like it's in a booster pack and it has a flip card and then you're like oh this is probably real because who would go to the effort to do all this you don't know like not to talk about those cards and to ban hammer you as a volunteer as they call it and then to drag your name in the mud and just you know that's why you're getting sued wizard it's probably not based on the actual case law it's more based on that you've utterly disrespected this particular person who's off, who's done so much for your company. Don't disrespect those people. Pay pros a living wage. And I know there's a lot of debate about do they deserve to play Magic? Should Magic be a fun game? You need pros. Every single sport needs pros. And if you want to take Magic as a sport and you can argue any sport, whatever, like it doesn't matter. Every single uh, in chess and poker, you need names. You need names. And when I look at Tom Dwan, I know, holy crap, this is Tom Dwan. And if I ever am lucky enough to play him in poker, that would be like one of the huge, you know, that would really pique my interest in getting better at poker because he's a name. He's a famous, famous name. Uh, next, better commentators. I made a video about all this stuff. Uh, the commentation right now, I A, don't know what's going on, B, it's extremely boring, and C, those people commentating don't know what's going on. How are you going to get new people in it? Probably not. So, um, sponsors, you need sponsors. I know people are killing me for the Hot Pockets, which I'm going to bring up again. 
but you need, there's gotta be someone out there. Maybe not the largest business like Coke or Geico or I think Nissan, <laughs> Nissan Automotive sponsored Team Liquid. Nissan, yes, those people who make cars. How can Wizards not get sponsorships that are a low, maybe you don't get Nissan and you get like, Kia or you know maybe like a really like maybe an individual maybe someone built a car in their backyard and wants to brand it say yes because once you get a few sponsors and you prove the model you will continue to get more and more sponsors and lastly and most importantly uh, make the game affordable the game is just out of control price wise now I know like people are like oh it's only $500 a deck $500 a deck your deck might last six months before a new deck comes out that you want to play, that you have to trade, and you can be like, oh, it has value, And but most players, at least I know, we don't shift my cards. I don't be like, oh, cool, a new deck comes out. I should sell my old card for 25% of what it's worth to invest in that new deck. No, I just keep my old one, and after rotation, it goes down to pretty much close to zero, unless it has fast lands, which Luckily, this new round of rotation, all the decks had fast lines in them, so I'm not totally screwed in that end. But just make it affordable. Worry about the user base. Um, that's how you make something big. So that's Snapchat, that's Facebook, that's Twitter. They didn't have, that's Amazon. Amazon still doesn't make that much income. Or previously, a year ago, it does, didn't make income by design. Worry about getting as many users as possible interested in what you're selling, then make money from that. Don't knock them out. Don't build a wall around them and say, hey, only people who spend $500 a deck will win an F in it. Anyway, bye guys.